Good morning. Um, today I want to show you how to make a ladybird um, out of pom-poms. So if you watch yesterday's instructional, that will teach you how to do the pom-poms if you don't have a pom-pom maker. Um, now I'm going to use a pom-pom maker just because I've got them and it's quick and easy. Um, so I've got red wool and I've got black wool. I do have black wool here. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start by putting a line. Now I double my wool because it makes it go on quick. So I literally just fold it in half and do two. Or if you've got two balls, you can do two at the same time. Okay. Um, so I'm going to put just one very thin layer as such of black all the way around this one. Now that's going to form the black stripe down the middle of your ladybird. So I'm just pushing it up. I might tilt it down a bit. There we go, you can see what I'm doing. Although I shouldn't have worn black today, I'm working with black. But the red will show up beautifully in a minute. Let's see, I've got a dangly bit there. Right, so. Do, 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 do. Sorry, trying to go quickly here for you. Right, so, I've got really, really thick red wool. So that's a really thin line of black. And I'm now going to trim that off. So now, I'm going to get my red, which is a little bit thicker, so this will go quicker. Now, what I need to do is double it up. I'm just on my way to work, so this is why I'm going a bit speedy today. Um, I've got the children back in the classroom. It's so exciting. Well, not all of them, but some of them. And I am going to wrap my red over the top of my black. Now I'm going to go forwards all the way and then backwards all the way. Now I'm not going to cut that off, I'm going to leave that there and there's a reason for that, it's because you're going to do another coat of it later. But we need to do spots, so to do spots you need to kind of do random sections in fact let me take it back the other way so it sits out of the way because otherwise that one's going to get in the way for me so i've gone back to the middle and now i'm just going to leave it sitting there out of the way now my black here i need spots so i it's going to be symmetrical because inevitably it's because pom pom and i am just going to do a spot two spots here so I'm just going to wrap in that one section there. Okay, and then I'm going to stop. I'm going to do another two spots here. Now, if you want to do more spots, you can. I'm just going to do four because I think that's enough on my ladybug. Now, I've also made a small black one. So that's the idea. If you're using one of these, then it's ideal if you use a fork to do that one because that could be your head. Um, Okay, so that's that spot there, which I think might be slightly bigger than the other one, but that's okay. I'm going to cut that off. I'm now going to do another layer of red all the way around the middle. Now I'm starting to get a bit fat because my wool is so fat. That's okay. I say I'm getting fat because my wool is so fat. I'm also getting fat because of lockdown, I tell you. The fridge is far too accessible working from home which is totally irrelevant to what we're doing. I just thought I'd discuss that with you while you're watching me wind wool around a pom-pom maker. Right, so now that's a very fat pom-pom. I'm now going to cut that off. Now for my bottom section, I'm just going to do it plain red. You can do it plain black, which actually would be more anatomically correct because ladybirds have black tummies, don't they? Tummies, undersides. But we're going to go with red just because I think a is quicker because it's thicker and B I think you will probably I like the red anyhow because it pops a bit more and I'm not going to make the bottom half quite as fat quite as chunky maybe I should say rather than fat that's not a nice word I used to know this very wise lady who banned the word fat from her house you weren't allowed to use the word fat I'd say big boned lovely lady
right okay so nearly there so at this point I'm just gonna do my usual which is close that one do that snip around the outside remember okay oh that one's not closed probably because it's so full hard work today right so already you can start to see how this is going to work oh no I've sprung apart it's because it's too full right so let's grab a piece of black wool as quick as we can so note for today don't overfill your pom-pom maker but hopefully we can retrieve this disaster and you really want your knot to finish at one end or the other in order to allow you to attach your head. So I, I'm going to have to just wedge this between my knees at the moment to try and get it because it's falling apart. So I'm just knotting it off as you would normally. Okay, so I'm leaving these long, as we said. Open my gates. Gates. I'm sure they've got a posh word. I just call them gates. And then pull it apart just like that. Now, as I said, I've got myself in a bit of a pickle, so some of my bits are a bit long. I'm just going to trim. Remember what I said about fringes? Not too much. Oh, forever. So if you look very carefully you have your black line going down the middle here Ooh, you might need to just have a little bit of a tweak with it and then your spots on the side if you haven't got such thick wool it'll probably work better and then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to tie these two bits of wool together so my head and my body as such what you can do is if you're really good you can try and tie one round the middle of the other and you end up with ha 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 gotta love it easily pleased a pom pom ladybird and that's today's tutorial pom pom ladybirds doesn't get any better than that does it pom poms ladybirds everybody loves both have a great day um, and i will see you tomorrow uh, for more pom poms bye bye